put your pens in there tie it up if you want to voila you got yourself a pencil case hello students and welcome to my office hours today i want to talk about three different things that i love organization school supplies and budget-friendly hacks. Organization is so important because it helps you to relieve stress that you might be feeling when your life is chaotic and you don't know where your things are. It's so important to be organized with your school supplies, your notes, and all of the things that you need in your daily routine. This way, you'll have some peace of mind when you're getting up in the morning and taking your bag and going into class. Today, I want to talk about three different types of pencil cases that can help you in your daily life. The first type I'm going to talk about are more non-traditional, budget-friendly pencil cases that you can use if you have a lot of materials like a scientific calculator. The second type of pencil case I'm going to talk about are more of your traditional pencil cases that are a little bit smaller and can fit in your smaller backpack or purse. And the third type of pencil case I want to talk to you about are the ultra budget friendly pencil cases. All right, I'm going to be looking at the different types of pencil cases and showing you how the materials can fit into them. So let's go on and see. All right, so the first type of pencil case is not really a pencil case, but they're a great way to keep all of your materials, especially if you have a variety of colored pencils or markers. Now, all of these are things I found around the house and I can't even tell you what store they're from because they were all thrifted. So this is the first type of item that I would use as a pencil case. Now, this is kind of great because it can double as a travel bag right it actually is a travel bag all right so this is what you would use for your toiletries and it has a little handle over here but i think it's really great because there's so much space to put all of your things and it's clear so this is great for people who do bullet journaling because they have a lot of space and they can see all of their materials now it's great because you can close it up and then take it wherever you need to go, like a little suitcase. The second one is similar, right? You can also use this to travel with and put your toiletries when you go on vacation because you can wash these plastic. So again, you have a lot of space here, a lot of compartments to put all of your markers and your pens and pencils, and then it closes up and you can take it like a little briefcase whatever class you're gonna go to. Third one, very, very similar. Like you can see here, it is also a toiletries bag, but I honestly love using this as pencil cases, especially since I have so much material. So you can see here, you have a huge space because it opens like this, right? So you can put, I don't know, maybe notebooks in there, um, post-it notes, erasers, calculator, whatever it may be. Then you have this part that opens over here and you have little pockets, okay? So you got little pockets over there. This is also great as a toiletries bag because you can see it is water resistant here. Last one, black, super similar, right? I have so many of them because I don't know why, actually. I probably found them when I was thrifting um, and they're just all there. So these are super budget friendly because you can find these in thrift stores, Goodwill stores, all over the place. And they're probably like two or three dollars. So you're getting a real bang for your buck. Um, another one that is similar to this is actually a purse organizer. This is a purse insert, so you can actually put your pens, pencils, and also maybe some things that you need in your purse. And then when you're using your backpack for school, and then on the weekends, you can just take this out and transfer it into your purse. But it's got great compartments here 
for pens, pencils, erasers, a nice big part in here, which you might want to put your wallet, big part in here for a calculator, scissors, and then you can just zip that right up and then take it from bag to bag. All right, so the next type of pencil cases are a little bit smaller and more of your traditional version of pencil cases. All right, so the first one I'm gonna show you is actually also a travel bag. And I really like this because my favorite type of pencil case is clear. Because again, with the whole organization and productivity thing, I like to see what is inside my bag so that if I have a lot of pens, I can clearly see which one I need, right? You don't want your teacher to have to tell you, okay, get your pen out, you're not ready yet. So these, I can easily see what I need through, through the bag and they're large, but they're flat and they're perfect. And also since these are travel bags, um, they're great for putting your cords in when you travel in the summertime. And these usually come in a pack of three, so they're very affordable. I have like another one right here that's like a larger style, but um, still mesh and still clear. The next one is also very affordable. I think I thrifted it. Um, I, there are, okay, so there are styles like this that are expensive and they're hard on the outside and they're really for pencil cases. But again, this is a budget hack. Um, this is I think a makeup bag, but you have a lot of room. I like this. I might start using this actually. Okay, so great because it's kind of thin, fit into your bag, won't take a lot of space. Um, tall, right, and opens wide. and. If you have like a lining that is not black, then it also makes it really easy to see what you're looking for in there, okay? So another great one and cheap. You can find things like this in thrift stores. Uh, the next one is very kind of a typical pencil case style. I actually never had this type of pencil case when I went to school. I don't know why, probably because I liked the clear ones. But um, this is great because it's super long, so it, it will be able to hold your scissors, it'll be able to hold um, any pens or pencils, but it probably won't hold a calculator. Um, so I have things in here right now, there's makeup in there, but if you can see, it holds a lot, right? It, there's a lot of space and it expands really widely. If it's not, I guess, what I'm thinking is if it's not clear, which makes it very easy to find your material, the best thing is that it opens really wide so that you can clearly see what is inside of your bag. Okay, um, another great option and these shouldn't be too expensive. This one is typical pencil case style, right? Very thin, very flat, doesn't hold too much, but nice nice size this is very this is more if you're only carrying a couple of pens couple of pencils right just the basics I actually use this to carry pens and pencils in my purse because I don't need all of the things when I'm you know walking around and it'll be kind of heavy so this is just nice to keep a couple markers a couple highlighters and a pen because you never know when you need a pen so the next one I have is super budget friendly. I feel like I've seen these in the dollar store for a dollar, obviously, right? They are the box style pencil case um, and self-explanatory box style, all in plastic and they it pulls out, okay? So again, if it's not clear, this is really nice to be able to see everything that you have, um, put it on your desk and be able to work when you're in class. Also, what's nice is, is that it doesn't take up a lot of space um, on your desk. And the next one I have is very basic. It's clear and it's small. I think I got it at a Japanese store. It's very, you know, low key, couple pens, couple pencils. That's all you need. It's nice found another one. This I thrifted, right? This is probably a makeup bag. Now this looks great for a pencil case. Opens fully up, right? So you can keep things there. You can put things here. You can set this on your desk flat and then 
open it and then keep all the things that you need while you're working on your desk. It's not even that big. It's not that invasive um, on your desk. So I like this and the sides are clear so you kind of can see what you need. This is very similar to this one because they're both square, right? But I don't know which one I like better. You could also get these in the dollar store, right? Super basic, easy, durable. What kid didn't have this? But see what I'm saying? You don't need to break the bank in order to be organized. All right, and now we've made it to the ultra budget friendly organization pencil cases where you can stay organized and it does not have to break the bank. There is no excuse to not have all your pens in one area because these are ultra budget friendly. First one is just a random cup, all right? Especially if you have the lid, that is great. What's nice is it also just stands on your desk. This is clear, you can see everything in it. Boom, voila, put the cup on, take it out. It's hard, it's durable, and it's free. Just look for an old cup. If you have an old coffee mug, this is not an old coffee mug, but it's what's around my house. Stick it in there, put the lid on, voila. Don't have any old cups, go to Starbucks, ask for an old cup, get a venti, voila. Change it every week. All right, what else is another budget-friendly hack for organization here? It's clear, I love the clear ones. Put all your pens in there. Put your cell phone. Put your sunglasses. Even put your notebook in there, right? Voila, you're organized. And this is not very expensive. I showed you this already, but um, I think these are super affordable. So I would consider this in the budget friendly uh, pencil case organization. And the last budget friendly, low cost to zero cost pencil case ideas. Get yourself, get yourself an old sock or a sock that you don't have a pair to. Put your pens in there, tie it up if you want to. Voila, you got yourself a pencil case, okay? I feel like this holds a lot. You got a lot of room to stretch and I'm sure that you have mismatched socks all over the place. So there is no reason to have your pens lying around or even come to class and say, I don't have a pen, I don't have a highlighter. I gave you all my tips and tricks on good, affordable pencil cases. Uh, if you liked this video, please subscribe down below, please comment, and if you made it this far, then you get extra credit. I think that's all I have to say, so please keep learning and stay classy. Bye.